Welcome back to the Treehouse. Mates Old Head Gaming here, and we're going to be doing not one, not two, but three EV boxes today. And of course, it's going to be a little weird because I was never able to get a hold of the Vaporeon box. So we're going to do the Flareon box I was able to get from Walmart, the Glaceon V Stars box, and and the Jolteon box, which I got from GameStop. As you know, I'm cheap, and I don't like to pay over retail. So at some point, we'll get the Vaporeon box, and we'll do a video. Maybe I'll find one at Target on one of the resets. Maybe I'll get one from you know, GameStop, Walmart, wherever. Uh, some of the great, fine e-tailers that I buy stuff from. Uh, Unplugged Gaming, Safari Zone, Paladin Cards. All three of them I highly recommend. Or, you know, like I said, we'll find one eventually. But before we do that, if you like the content you see here, please drop a like and a comment below. It really does help the channel. Of course, smash that subscribe button. We covered a Pokemon trading card game. For Horizon Forbidden West starting this week. We have Dead by Daylight every Sunday. And of course, many, many other games. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to break open each box. And we'll just take a guess. Who do you think is going to have the best pulls from the pack? Because we're going to open those up too. So first, of course, we're going to open. All right, we're going to open the Glaceon box first. Now, let's see what all we got in it. Now, if you've been watching any of the V-Stars openings, you've been seeing some weird things coming from a few of the openings inside where the um, energy card would be. Sorry. So the first thing you're going to see is that you've been getting like these V-Star markers, which I believe are used in the V-Star uh, as like their energy. So the first thing we'll get is we'll see we get these two beautiful promos, which is the Glaceon V and then of course the Glaceon V-Star. And as you all know, Glaceon is my favorite evolution. We will be hoping that Glaceon wins and we will get these out later. Now, of course, it's going to come with some packs. You also get a nice Glaceon V-Star Jumbo, which is awesome. I love the Jumbos. This one's super pretty and even has some texture this time, which is kind of uncommon for the, for the, uh, for the Jumbo cards. And it looks like we get one, two, three, four, five packs which is a little weird number but all right we'll take it and then it looks like is that a v-star magnet so we get this little v-star pin we got a pack of two packs of fusion strike a pack of evolving skies two packs of evolving skies and then of course one of chilling rain and of course here's the card so that is what we're going to be opening from team glaceon so next up, we have the Flareon box. And these Flareon Vaporeon boxes are a thing of art. They all come with this amazing pin. You get another awesome jumbo card. You get the V and the V Max versions, and then you're going to get uh, an awesome Flareon Vaporeon and Jolteon coin. And these have six packs, so they're going to have a little bit of edge um, against the Glaceon box, unfortunately. So Glaceon is going to be down a pack versus it's more older Evolution Brothers, Flareon, and Vaporeon. Now, here is the pin and the two beautiful EV, er, Evolution Flareon promos. Um, I'm not going to lie, the Flareon V, where it's just kind of chilling by the fire. Just absolutely amazing. One more time on those. And then, of course, a jumbo card as well. We're going to have one for Jolteon as well. And that'll go in my jumbo binder with all the rest of them. Because I do have a jumbo binder from Celebrations. It does come in handy. Um... Makes it easy to find. And this one looks like... That's weird. Alright. Uh, we got a wide variety. I'm not sure what's up with this pack. This pack's super weird. So I'm a little worried about this... Uh, 
this Evolving Skies pack. But anyway, we have uh, two Fusion Strike, one Vivid, one Chilling, one Rebel Trash, and one Evo. So we'll put those there. And I'm going to use the awesome Flareon pin to dictate that it is Flareon's packs, just like I used the V-Star for Glaceon. And then, of course, here is the code card. And finally, we're going to have Jolteon. And just like it's brothers, Eevee and Flareon, we'll show you the promo cards. We'll show you the jumbo card. And then, of course, the packs. And let's take a look at this guy. So another exquisite box. All right, let me slide this stuff out of here. All right, just like the Flareon box, it's going to have the Jolteon, Vaporeon, and Flareon pin. And then the two promos and the pin. And once again, the promos are absolutely ridiculous. Like these promo Evolution boxes just come with straight up fire. Like whether you get good stuff in like Jolteon V in the city, the Jolteon V Max, the Flareon, the Glaceon, like it doesn't matter if you even get any good stuff out of the packs. Like, of course, we want some hits, but like these promos are absolutely chef kiss. Mwah. Now, unfortunately for both. The Jolteon and the Flareon, they did the VMAX for the Jumbo cards, which is fine, but the Vs are so much nicer. Uh, but this is a really cool, it has the rays just like the Glaceon and the Flareon. I feel like they went a little harder on these boxes than they've done with the Jumbo cards in a long time, and I really like what we got here. Incoming code! <laughs> There's the three codes for all three boxes. And this one looks like it's going to be the same. Two Fusion Strike, one Evolving Skies, a Vivid, and a Rebel Trash. And, of course, last but not least, the Jolteon pin, which is Toad Storm. And we'll use as our marker for Jolteon. So, due to the fact that Glaceon has the fewest packs, I think we'll start with Glaceon and we'll see who has the best. We're not going to do who's that chase card. It has a little bit of everything. We have Fusion Strike. We have Evo. Maybe we'll just get lucky and I'll finally on one of these last <laughs> dang Fusion Strike packs, Bull Dancing Genesic. But to Mr. Mime! Now, as you see in Mr. Mime, normally right here, at the bottom, I usually have um, our friend Mimikyu, who's always accompanying. But I'm going to put this. And ta-da! We're going to see a different little overlay adjustments for each and every one. So, as you can see, Glaceon's up now. Just to show you that the Glaceon packs are being opened. And we'll do the same thing for Flareon and Jolteon. So, make your guesses now. We'll see who is the winner at the end. Like I said, you're probably not going to want to guess. I mean, it's not to say that Glaceon won't win. It's just, unfortunately, poor Glaceon finds himself at a pack deficit. So we're going to open up with the Fusion Strike packs first from the Glaceon box. And hopefully we find some fire in these boxes. All right, here we go. Frostmoth, Simiseer, Meryl, Wulu, Gossifleur, Mudkip, Wulu's back again, and Corviknight. So nothing there. Pack two is also going to be Fusion Strike. So our first pack of Team Gl Glaceon was a bit of a bust. Let's see what pack two is going to be. All right, we got 
Excadrill, Dub Wool. I mean, that makes sense. We got a couple of uh, good old Wooloos. Gligar, Slugma, Skitty J, Felix, Dub Wool's back. Like, double, double. And Latia. So, nothing there either. 0 for 2. We got a double shot of Evolving Skies coming from the Glaceon box now. All right, here it comes. S Icicle Skew. Yuck. I'm a little, like one of my least favorite Pokemon, but I do like this Pikachu from Evolving Skies. It is super adorable. Rufflet, Low Toad, Jump Fluff, Reverse Rare, and Flapple Pie. All right, so far Glaceon is down a pack and hasn't brought any kind of heat. It's been ice cool, which is typical for an ice type Pokemon. But we'll see. Maybe maybe there'll be something hiding in these last two packs. We'll be like, oh my god, Glaceon's got a chance. But we don't know. Tentacruel, Papato, Shipping, <laughs> Shopping Center, Bergamite, Pikachu's back, Swablu, Chinchow, Chinchow, C Dot, and Glaceon VMAX. How ironic. We pulled the Glaceon VMAX card out of a Glaceon box. It's very fitting. And our first sleeve of the day. I mean, you don't get much more fitting of a card to pull than Glaceon VMAX out of a, a Glaceon box. Now, if we could have got Glaceon V Alt Art out of it, that would have been even better. Because you know we have the VMAX Alt Art. You've probably seen us talk about it. But... We don't have the V Alt art for Glaceon in Evolving Skies. So, Glaceon's first hit, and who knows, maybe the only one, is a Glaceon V Max. Brawly, Haunter, Fire Resistant Gloves, Quillfish, Blitzel, Cubfu, Shuppet, Scour Bunny, Lele Ron, and Malamur. So, all in all, Glaceon, oof, I don't see any way Glaceon wins this box battle. But Glaceon did get itself <laughs> with a VMAX Glaceon. Incoming now. As you can see the change, Team Flareon. All right, so Flareon, we're going to start with the Evo pack, the one that looks a little weird, so I'm a little worried about it. You know there's going to be something good if the pack is, like, completely jacked up. <laughs> that, that is luck. So the cards don't look bad. It just looked like it was weird crimping on the package. We'll see. Elemental Bad, Shell Gun, Cutie Fly, Applin, Sableye, Nicked, Bergamite, Times 2, and Golurk V. So Golurk coming in with the first hit from the Jolteon box. I would still put it a smidge behind our friend Glaceon. Glaceon VMAX is probably better than the Goldberg V, but it's a hit nonetheless. Man, these Fusion Strike sleeves just want to fight me, but I want to get stuff in there. All right, so Golurk joins our friend Glaceon, and we go to pack two, which is going to be Fusion Strike. Looks like we only have one evolution pack in there. And I have had quite a cold streak with Fusion Strike lately. Um, we had a really good opening weekend with Fusion Strike. When we did the live stream, we opened a booster box and two ETBs and some loose cards. Gladius again. Um, and since then, we've really struggled. Like, we've pulled some alt art, or uh, some full arts. We've pulled a gold card, but, like, last night we pulled a gold card out of the ETB during the live stream. So, you know, we found some stuff, but we've we've gone on quite an alt, quite an alt art drought lately. Skarmory, Shelmet, 
Plusle. Aura Koro, Reverse Rare, and Serena Full Art. So we picked up a Serena Full Art. Definitely puts the Team Flareon in the lead right now. So we've pulled a Golark V, and now we've pulled from the Evolutions pack, and we've pulled a Serena Full Art. All right, so Serena and Golark have teamed up to definitely have taken down the one Glaceon VMAX from the Glaceon box. And even with extra an extra pack, it doesn't seem like it's going to matter. So a full art has been pulled. Can there be any more fire? I mean, there should be some fire from a Flareon box. Crockerock, Aroma Energy, Trubbish, Shuppet, Choidle, Rialu, Eevee, Mudsdale, Reverse Rare, and Vaporeon. One of the only missing boxes I have from that original run. We found an Eevee Lucian right here. All right, incoming our good friend Chilling Rain. Now, you know. I think more than most streamers, I've had really good luck with Chilling Rain for the most part. My Chilling Rain luck has been pretty solid. We've done some serious damage, although the one card I do want, the alt art of Galarian Moltres just still avoids me, but that's alright. Delibird and a Rillaboom Hollow. So, Nothing too exciting there, but a technical hit. So we're down to Rebel Trash from Team Flareon. Rebel Clash is a set I have done very poorly with, and I really only want one card. And I'd be fine with either one. I prefer the rainbow, but I'm looking for boss's orders. If I could pull boss's orders, this box would be the best thing ever, because... That is one card I really do want, and I just never seem to pull it. Barboach, Squobit, Apple Pie, Temple looking terrified, Metacham, Reverse Rare, and Phallix Full Art. So our second Full Art out of the Flareon box. So we pulled two Full Arts, a Hollow, and a V out of six packs. That is that is pretty dang good. Um, so let's take a look at that beauty. The, I love the pink with the Phalanx V. That is absolute gorgeous. Alright, so now last up and a pretty, pretty heavy chance that our winner is going to be uh, it's going to be pretty hard for Jolteon to overtake two full arts, a hollow, and a V. If it does that, it must have brought the mega fire. All right, here is that pin again, and let's change to Jolteon. So, like we did last time, we will go. I guess the packs are the same. Okay. No, it's not, because we got a Vivid Voltage in this one. We didn't, definitely didn't have Vivid in the last one. First, we'll do Evolving Skies, which was indeed a hit for the Glaceon box. I think we had two, though, in the Glaceon box. But that is what we pulled our Glaceon VMAX card. Ursa Ring, Crustal, Rescue Carrier, Slakoth, Pet Little, Pika's back. I mean, Pika's been in, like, every pack for... <laughs> um, Shift Tree Reverse Rare and Umbreon V. Nice car. So Evolution's finding their way into everything. So we start off with a nice little hit from the Jolteon box. Um, Umbreon V. Man, the Umbreon V Max Alt Art has been a car that has haunted me. I, I've tried to pull it over and over again from the Evolution set. Just to no luck whatsoever. All right, we're back to Fusion Strike for two packs. And of course, the card we are looking for, if we were to be graced by anything, would be Dancing Genesect. 
another alt art that has been haunting me. Just haunting me. All right, here we go. Four cards. Danza, Pangaro, Groplocked, Pancham, Galarian Deramaka, Ndidi, Griot, Griot, Growlithe, there's Phalanx, but a normal one, Gudra, and, and a Hollow Swampert. Hurrah. Nothing too exciting, but we'll give it a sleeve. We'll count as a hit. Kind of matches up so far. You have the V's to match up. You have the hollows to match up. Now, of course, there was two full arts pulled as well, which brings a bit of a lead for <laughs> Team Flareon. That Flareon box was not was no joke, no joke whatsoever. Um, but be that. beware, Skater Spark. Funnelby, Meryl, Heleptile, Wooloo, Gossifleur, Deoxys Reverse Rare, and Hauntail. So it's a uh, it's looking very good for Flareon. Although there's still a Chilling Rain, a Vivid Voltage, and a Rebel Strike. Although we were a little caught off guard by Rebel Strike hitting with a full art. So that's usually not a set that does very well for me. All right, here we go. Chilling Rain, probably one of the best sets we've had hits with. Kirlala, Coughing, Delibird, Surfar Fetched, Porygon, Heracross, Rockruff, and a Cinderace Hollow. So we're getting hits out of this box, but mostly just hollows. Nothing that is uh, really broken it open for Jolteon. It looks like Flareon is going to kind of walk to victory. Like, I think about, other than maybe an Altar, there's the only thing that could really save it. And I don't think there's that's a possibility anymore because we have Vivid Voltage and Rebel Clash. So we need, like, double rainbows to have any chance of Jolteon catching up. Missed his chance for Altars with Evolving Skies, Fusion Strike, and Chilling Rain already gone. What the heck? All right, here we go. Lightning energy, a bath, a stun fisk, a shuckle, drillbur, whalemer, cottony, clavis, electrike, whimsicott, reverse rare, and whimsicott. It's a pair of whimsicots. So, yeah, Jolteon is definitely not bringing it. It's down to Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash, like, needs to come through in a big way. And I don't really think there's anything that big in Rebel Clash that can defeat two full arts. But we'll see. I mean, if we pull Boss's Orders Rainbow, I would call it a win, even though it probably isn't. All right, here we go. Indeedy. Skyla, Electrode, Metatite, Milkry, Growlithe is back, but a different one. Impidimp, Bunnelby, Double Blade Reverse, and Cinder Ace VMAX. Not another hit from Rebel Clash, but not going to bring it home. So our winner, without a doubt, was the fire that was pulled from Flareon. And that was really awesome. It's a box I got from Walmart online when they went up for a hot minute. And we pulled a bunch of stuff from it. And there you have. And it looks like the winner is... Flareon. It wasn't even close. Uh, poor Glaceon pulled itself, but for the most part, uh, struggled mightily. And then, of course, you had just absolute steam pouring out of that Flareon box. You know, you had a V, you had a Hollow, and then you pulled two Full Arts, the Serena Full Art, as well as the Full Art for Phalanx. And then, you know, the, the, the Jolteon box wasn't bad. Like, we pulled two Hollows, a V, and then that Cinderace VMAX is actually a card I've never been able to pull. So, like, that's a win, too. So, I hopefully you've had a good time watching what we've been doing here with these three boxes. Hopefully soon we will have some brilliant stars. I know you're probably seeing all the great content creators dropping brilliant star stuff right now. And I'm dying. 
I want it so bad, but we don't have any yet. So as soon as we do, we will see that schedule. We'll go up for the live stream of opening. We have a lot of Brilliant Star stuff coming. We have three booster boxes, multiple sleeve blisters, multiple sleeved packs, six um, ETBs, three from the Pokemon Center, three from other places. We have a lot of stuff coming. So we're going to have a lot of shots at some of those amazing secret rares, the rainbow rares, of course, the Zards. Uh, the gold cards. There's so much good stuff in Brilliant Star. So as soon as we get a chance to get a hold of one and get some product in, we will definitely do a video or a live stream. If it's if it's just like an ETB, we'll probably just do a video. But if it's a uh, enough that I can actually show you guys and we can have some fun, we'll do a live stream, of course. And as always, thank you for watching and later, mates.